This week we came with tons of soup and tons of clothes and other supplies for the Venezuelan refugees. Something was different this week. Immediately, the refugees were kind of out of control. Um, our volunteers were getting swarmed and people were pushing and yelling and elbowing each other. I felt lost because I don't speak Spanish and a lot of our volunteers are really nice and kind people and they don't like yelling at people to back up repeatedly. Um, I had to physically push people back to give our volunteers some breathing space. The good thing is that no one got hurt, but this type of experience can lead to burnout of the volunteers. I think this is a learning experience and, you know, this week we're going to have to have a discussion to figure out what we're going to do next. I think we may need to draw chalk lines on the ground for waiting in line, or maybe buy some Halloween costumes of security guards or cops, or maybe even hire a few of the Venezuelan men to make sure we don't get swarmed again. It sounds funny to say, but I've spent my whole life making fun of the TSA and security theater. But maybe this week I finally learned that sometimes security theater might be necessary. Just into Fox News now, NYPD making two more arrests, illegal immigrants and that attack on officers. Those suspects also allegedly stole an officer's cell phone. Well, that'll help them track you down. So a fifth illegal immigrant accused of attacking two New York City police officers over the weekend showed no remorse or regret. He was seen, as you can see, giving his two middle fingers to the cameras moments after being released without bail. Venezolano robando paquete de Amazon in New York. Capturado venezolano robando moto, orden de deportación para los delincuentes. In a crowded Oak Brook shopping center, prosecutors say two men from Venezuela were caught stealing $750 in clothing from Macy's. One day earlier on Black Friday, three migrants also from Venezuela who've been living in Waukegan allegedly took $500 worth of merchandise from Kohl's in Elmhurst. We've seen a, a dramatic increase in uh, migrant arrests specifically from Venezuela. Um, coming out here, committing their crimes, and heading back into the city. Officers think members of an organized retail theft operation may have approached them in Chicago, offering to pay them to commit these crimes. We do think it's, it, it's part of something bigger. Um, there's just too many random arrests that are occurring to think that it's not part of a bigger ring.